so much for stopping by. This is Amy. Um, today I'm going to show you just a quick painting using flat brushes. And this again is part of my brush stroke series. So we're going to switch it up and use flat brushes instead of the round brushes. And this is just kind of a quirky little type of a rose. So just very simple. Once again, anybody should be able to do this if they can hold a paintbrush. So let's get started. And I'm painting on the black cardstock. That way, <clears throat> actually I'm going to turn it this way. That way you can actually, it, they show up, it shows up better I, I think, but that's just my opinion. I am going to be using two three-quarter flat brushes and then one number 10 flat brush for this series. These are all folk art enamel, or I'm sorry, folk art brushes, not, they're one stroke from uh, folk art. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The flower is gonna be made from fairy wine and wicker white. Then my leaves will be, and in, in, uh, vines and stems and such will be made from thicket and then my yellow citron. I'm going to double load my brush with the fairy wine and the white. And because I'm painting on the paper, I am trying to get a lot of paint on my brush so that it flows nicely. All right, so you're going to go ahead and get started and you're going to make two little movements with your brush, kind of like that. I don't know if you would kind of consider that a teardrop in a, in a sense. And then like that, one is bigger than the other. And actually, I think I'm going to make this one just a tad bit bigger. Which is fine. Now, I am painting it as a left-handed person. You might have to do your strokes and your design a little bit differently. So I'm going up like that. Just kind of maybe doing like the reverse of that stroke, but going from one side of the larger teardrop down and around and back up. And then I'm going to connect over here and come down and around and back up. That's a little dry there at the bottom, so I'm going to do it again. Make sure that it sticks. And there you go. I'm going to do another one over this way. Just kind of make it a little bouquet. Kind of like what I've been doing with the flowers. And then doing, again, a larger one next to it. Just right next to it. Coming down and pulling up kind of in the center of the larger one. So that you can see it. And then I'm going to come down and around and finish back up. Come down and around and finish back up. I'm going to do another one going this direction. Now what I was meaning by when you're painting right-handed, you might find that your smaller one is going to actually be on the reverse side left side and then a larger one will be on your right side. Either way is fine. It's just a matter of what you're comfortable with. So you're basically like swinging it around and then standing it back up. Swing it around and stand it back up. I'm going to start at the edge of the thicker one or the wider one and then pull it back up. You can do it in the center. You can kind of come over and do it a little bit further over. You could even do it a few times like that. It's fine. And then you're going to start over here on the farthest edge and swing it around and pull it up like that. Then I'm going to take the little brush, the ten, number 10 flat, and I'm going to double load it. A lot of times when I double load, sometimes I'm just sticking in, in the paint with a little bit of color on one side or the other, and I'm not really doing a lot of, of this swishing back and forth to blend it. I'm just going to come down here and kind of do little shapes like what we were doing, but just in a smaller version. 
just to add a point of where the flower would attach to the stem on the bottom here. And then I'm going to take the larger, the three quarter, and get it in. I will kind of double load it and do the back and forth, you know, blending. Typically when you're doing this, you should get at least three quarters of your bristle with, filled with paint. All right, so I have it double loaded and I'm just going to go from my middle one and then do the same thing, kind of pulling it in here and pulling that down in, into, the, into the stem. And if you want more variation in color, you can go back over it, just kind of wiggle it. Right like that. Now you can either leave these flowers like that and then maybe just do some kind of funky partially waved, well they're waved but partially, they're not double sided leaves like that. Because most of them will come back down and have a fuller leaf but for the purpose of this I'm just trying to do thin wavy on one side leaves. That makes sense. Now what I started to say with the with the actual flowers, you can leave them like this if you like them without any greenery around them. Or you can choose to come back up around them and put some greenery around them as such. Like that. And then just do a little piece in the middle here. Sometimes you can pull, if you want to do a leaf down that direction, you can do that. It's really up to you how you feel you want it to turn out. So say it's your piece, so make it make it your piece. And you can pull on some of the color in from the rose itself because the paint is still wet, so it's basically wet on wet. That's fine. And then I'm going to make sure that I come up in the center from this point. Like I said, and you feel, you feel like that's kind of, you need to go back over, give it a more crisper look and do that. Like I said, either way, you know, I kind of like to have some green up around them, but I think they were cute even without the green up around them. They're kind of fun. They're different, a little unique, and that's okay. You know how I am about that. I like things that are a little bit different. But, and as you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm a big lover of leaves, so I'm going to put a lot of them in. If you feel like less is more, then do it, what your heart tells you, what, you're, what you like. So to create your own piece. Now if you like my videos, make sure that you've subscribed. Make sure that you hit the, the little bell so that you get notifications whenever I'm uploading a new video, which like I said, for this year, my goal is to do a lot more videos. Still trying to get myself on a schedule, but I don't have anything definite at this point. One of my factors is that I babysit my grandchildren, so it's kind of, between that and, and working my business, it can be a little challenging. If you like what you're seeing, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and share my videos. I would appreciate that. I'm trying to build my channel. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please feel free to let me know. Uh, any comments? Do you like this painting? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, feel free to comment below. I guess I'm just kind of play with it.
make it your own. I mean, you can do some some pieces like this down at the bottom. All this is done with the flat brush. You know, if you feel like you want to do some more filler flowers out and about, you know, throughout, that's fine too. This is just some suggestions on things you can do. You know, like if you want to do them off here, whatever. I'm just going to leave it as this. And there you go. Pretty simple, pretty quick, and you've got a cute little painting that you can do, you know, whether you're doing projects like wood projects or, you know, you're painting, repurposing, and you can add a little bit of uh, painting to your, your projects and you're good to go. So thanks again for stopping by. Just a reminder, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, I will see you then. Have a good day.